they're saying it's getting closer and closer to talk about this is uh, Matt Levanchi, the, the assistant fire chief of the Pattonville Fire Protection District. Good morning, Matt. Thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning, McGraw. How bad is this? Well, you know, we've been watching this for a little over four years now, and all along the, the thought has been that they're never going to let this fire come in contact with this radioactive material that, you know, we've known for a long time has been there. And here we are four years later, and there's indications that the fire is now moving through the neck area, as uh, most people that, that know the situation are familiar with. And, you know, it's to the point where the Department of Natural Resources has written a letter saying that they believe that the fire is progressing through that neck. And it's closer today to the radioactive material than it's ever been. They say 1,000 feet. That's basically the length of a football field. Yeah, you know, and I wish I could say that I agree with that 1,000 feet, and I don't want to sound like an alarmist, but the fact is that the EPA has gone out and done testing, and the radioactive material has been found in other places than where they thought it was. So to say that it's 1,000 feet, I think that's a, that's pretty much a guess because it's not really been identified where the, the location of where this other radioactive material is. So, yeah. you know, I, I think... A thousand feet might be conservative. What happens when? Because the fire is not going to go out. You can't put the fire out. I guess you could, but no one wants to pay for it. What happens when the fire reaches the nuclear waste material? You know, I, I'm still of the opinion that that is not going to be allowed to happen. There's there are people that have the power to make this thing go away, so to speak, and it's not going to go away. That's a figure of speech, but you know. I just, I really believe that it is not going to be allowed to encounter the radioactive waste. And, you know, maybe I'm an optimist or, you know, call me whatever it is, but I just really don't think that that's ever going to be allowed to happen. With our elected officials, um, you know, it, I think they're finally realizing that, you know, some of the wordsmithing that's been going on for a while is maybe not truly the case. And this is a situation that's a lot more serious than anybody really ever gave it credit for over the past four years. But no one's taking credit, and no one's taking responsibility, and no one's taking the lead. You talk to everybody, uh, governors, senators, congressmen, public officials, uh, Republic services. They all sort of say, well, this one's looking at it, that one's looking at it, we're, we're going to do another study. What? Who is in charge of this, and 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 who ultimately do you think is going to step in and say we need to shut it down now? Yeah, you know, my guess, your guess is as good as mine. Um, you know, I'm as I'm as extremely frustrated with this whole situation as anybody else. You know, nowhere else in anywhere in the state of Missouri or in the country would there be a fire that is burning that would just be allowed to continue burning. You know, it, it's a different story if it's not affecting anybody. But you've got, you know, residential area that's less than a quarter of a mile away. You've got all kinds of commercial areas. And not, and, and not to mention that it's sitting right in the middle of the metropolitan St. Louis area. So it does impact at people on a daily basis. I know you don't want to be an alarmist, but you are the assistant fire chief of the area. What happens, and I know you just said you don't think it's going to happen, but... What happens if the fire reaches the nuclear material? You know, there's, there's the possibility, the potential of radioactive material to be carried away by the results of the smoldering or the combustion event. We're talking about pieces of material at an atomic level, and they can leach on to gas, smoke, anything like that. And even if the gas collection system on that site were to catch them in their system, take them to the flare system, it's scientific proof that you cannot destroy radioactive material by burning it. So you know, the, these emissions that would be taking place uh, would be carrying potentially radioactive material and making them airborne and spreading them over the area, at least in, up in that uh, Bridgeton area, and depending on how strong the wind is and, and what the current weather conditions are and everything else, at the time that happens, you're talking about a plume that potentially covers a much larger area than just that area right around the landfill. Are you, as a fire chief, getting your 
uh, firefighters ready for what could happen? Are you testing for this? Are there any roles or models that you're using for this? Well, you, you know, we there's never been a case similar to this. There's been landfill fires across the country all the time. There's currently probably seven or eight in the United States burning right now. The fact and the differences of this is that it's uh, right next door to a landfill that contains radioactive material. And this is the first of its kind. And, you know, yeah, and the answer to your question is yes. I'm actually doing a refresher class this week uh, with the firefighters at Pattonville to bring them up to speed on what's changed over the last six, eight months, what has changed since the beginning, the inception of our involvement in this. And, you know, things have, have changed a lot. And just the makeup of the landfill, if you drive by and look at it, you can see that it looks nothing like it did four years ago when this fire was first uh, reported to the fire department. Matt Lavacci is the assistant fire chief of the Pattonville Fire Pro- Protection District. I just don't understand. We have a burning landfill next to a nuclear toxic waste dump, and um, just people are like, so what the Cardinals do last night? I mean, it's just it's it's baffling to me that this continues to be a non-story in the St. Louis metropolitan area. I, I completely understand, and you know it's it's almost like how often, how long do you bang your head against the wall before somebody actually realizes that there's a problem? Yeah, uh, uh, it, it, my my big my biggest concern is for the safety and the well being of not only my firefighters but the people that are directly affected by that. So that you know this is not something that we can just wish would go away because it's not going to go away. I wish I'd win the Powerball. But the fact is, I got to buy a lottery ticket in order to even have a chance to do that. Yeah. We can't just wish this fire would burn out. Governors, it's not going to. governors, senators, congressmen, elected officials, politicians, soon to be politicians, they all don't have an answer for it. Um, and the public doesn't, doesn't, you know, and the people of Pat, well, anyway, we're short on time. Matt, thank you very much for checking in. Thank you. 758.